Well, at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey, is urging the school to rescind its invitation to Condoleezza Rice to speak at this year's commencement. Now, Rutgers is awarding an honorary doctor of law degree to the former Secretary of State and paying her $35,000 to speak. Now, our own Ainsley Earhart visited the campus and tracked down some of the 200 professors who are now protesting, and here's why they say they object. She played a prominent role in the Bush administration's effort to mislead the American people about the presence of weapons of mass destruction. And she, at the very least, condoned the Bush administration's policy of enhanced interrogation techniques such as waterboarding. And that does it for me. Picking a commencement speaker is honoring the speaker and also offering a role model to students. And I think we could make better choices than to pick Condi Rice. Commencement is a place where students should be um, happy and joyful and proud of their achievements and not be distracted by political controversy. So it's not about Republicans and Democrats? No, not at all. I have very good Republican friends and some of them are, are members of the Tea Party. Uh, it, that's not the issue. It's, it's for me the morality of what was done during a war. All right, joining us now, Rudy Bell, history professor at Rutgers. He signed on to this petition. You signed on to this? Oh, yes. Uh, one of the people helping to circulate it. And you were upset about the, the effort that she was her role in misleading the American people? I think we are concerned with two areas primarily, the misleading of the American people on the situation in Iraq, particularly whether there were weapons of mass destruction, and then her co-involvement in uh, enhanced methods of interrogation, I believe is the phrase she let me, let me, uses. Let me ask you this. Um, if Barack Obama were to speak at the commencement, would you support him being there? He's been invited for 2016. I'll give you that's a news break. So we, I don't know whether he said yes or no. Would you support it? I think by then he's a uh, lame duck. And, would uh, you support it? Would you, write a, would you be protesting like you are Condi? Uh, I'd have to think about that, but I believe Probably that, not. I don't agree with that. I su would support Governor Christie well, speaking. Let me give you an effort to mislead the American people. Did, did Barack Obama mislead the American people when he said, if you like your plan, you can keep your plan? And seven no, that, million that's, that's not why I would Wait. pick Obama. The reason that well, I I'm would... I'm asking you, did he mislead the American people? Because this is the standard. This is what you say. The effort to mislead the American people is, if that is the standard, did the President Obama mislead the American people when he said, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, like your plan, you can keep your plan? The reason for inviting Obama would be because of his office. It's the same as Governor Christie. I would have no objection to the inviting office. his office, President of the United States. A black Secretary of State? She has no office. Uh, She's a professor at Stanford. Excuse me, but a prominent role in, in our country's history and a prominent position, you may disagree. Isn't a college campus, shouldn't that be the area where we have the most free speech? She's absolutely welcome to come. I think 35000 be a little high. We normally pay about the most 2000 Frankly, for... you got her cheap. No, that's not. I charge a lot more. Really? That's correct. Were you invited to Rutgers ever? I don't <laughs> no, think so. You probably anyway, protest. Anyway, on academic freedom grounds, she's at. No, no, I would never protest you coming to Rutgers. As a commencement speaker, is different. That is a faculty governance issue. Can I just say? But you would want Obama to be your commencement speaker. No, I don't want him. I'll not want him. All right, but but you wouldn't protest this way, is my guess, because you won't give me an answer. But the point is, he misled the American people. He told the American people they can keep their plan, keep their doctor, and they'd save twenty five hundred dollars a no. year. What, my question. Why don't you apply the same standard to him? I'm a historian. I wait 100 or 200 what does that have to years do? to Why make judgments. Why not play, pay, apply not the same ready. standard? I am not ready to make a judgment about Obama. Oh, you're wimping out. Not at all. You're I'm wimping out. I'm perfectly happy to tell you. You don't believe in academic freedom, freedom of speech. I totally believe in freedom of speech. Oh, then why are you and trying to silence somebody you just don't like her policies? not trying to silence her at all. She's entirely welcome to come as anything but commencement speaker. You should, be, and you, you should be thankful to God you've got somebody as qualified as her. And I bet you're not going to get qualified people if you keep acting this way. But good to see you. Okay. Coming up next, she knows a thing.